Psalms chapters 46 and 47. God, the refuge of his people, for the choir director. A psalm of the sons of Korah, possibly for soprano voices set to Alamoth, a song. So Alamoth was female soprano. All right, verse uh, chapter 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride, Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations made an uproar. The kingdoms tottered. He raised his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has wrought desolations in the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot with fire. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Chapter 47, God, the King of the Earth, for the choir director, a psalm of the sons of Korah. O clap your hands, all peoples, shout to God with the voice of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. God has ascended with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have assembled themselves as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Amen to that. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, we yearn to be like you. You modeled maturity and perfection for us as a man, and we seek to grow in the area of spiritual maturity. Thank you for the promise of your Holy Spirit to be with us each and every day. We desperately need his empowerment to keep us growing and going. <laughs> until we step foot into your presence and see your majesty face to face. Lord, help us with any doubts and discouragement that we do face and guard us from the evil one. I pray we each lay our sins before you today right after this video and that you would deliver us and those that we love and our country from evil. Remind us, Lord, that you will complete the good works that you start in each of us and uh, help us to hold on to that strength. Jesus, we'd like to extend our gratitude towards you for drawing us by the power of the gospel to the light of your word. You have given us grace to receive the truth when we were so deeply defiled by our own guilt and condemned for destruction. Each of our souls were once corrupt, living in rebellion against your law, our minds hostile to the truth, and our lives in offense to your holiness. Knowing this gives us a yearning to help others see the error of their ways and the only way we can have true unity. Help us, Lord, in planting and watering seeds that will last throughout eternity. As long as there's breath in our lungs, there's still time for souls to be saved. And obviously, we cannot be your vessels without your power and guidance. So help us, we pray. Amongst these intense days, please keep working greatly for your kingdom. And we pray these things in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. Great day today. And uh, we will fight that fight and carry on. God be with you today. Let's go out and get it. Take care.